A nice opportunity for us to catch up with one of the legends of the game, former world number one, Jim Courier. Jim, thank you for joining ATP World Tour Uncovered. I know you're still involved in the sport in every possible way, especially American tennis. How do you view the state of American tennis currently? I think it's a very exciting time. First of all, we have an established group of veterans, and then we have this younger generation as well. They're starting to peek in. Guys like Francis Tiafoe, who's won a title already, Taylor Fritz, Riley Opelka, and there, there's been a lot of investment in American tennis, and we're seeing some really nice return on that investment now, and there's more to come. What about Shapovalov? I mean, that's an incredible talent with his breakthrough at the Rogers Cup last year. Canada is uh, is really incredible. Um, huh? I mean, with Felix Auger, Ali Asim, and now Shapovalov, they have two amazing young talents that are popping up with confidence. I mean, Shapovalov is such a, an artist on the court. I mean, the way that he moves around, it, his flexibility on the court, it, it's really fun to watch. And then Felix, it, at a very young age, has power to burn, really wonderful technique, a thirst for the spotlight, which is wonderful. He's not afraid of it. You know, he seems to like the big moments, and that's something that is hard to teach. So there's a lot to like about where the future of men's tennis is going. You were number one in the world. Who can barely will remember. <laughs> Who will be the next new number one player on the ATP Jeez, World Tour? You know, that's such a tricky question, right? Um, because could Juan Martin Del Potro, could he all of a sudden make a run? I mean, we certainly know he can win majors, so it's a fascinating parlor game. Who do you think? I think it is Del Potro. I mean, he's one of the guys who's been able to beat the big guys in the biggest moments and has the big weapons and has won a major before and an amazing story. What's the state of the ATP World Tour in terms of the quality on the court? I, I think it's fantastic. I, I've really enjoyed uh, watching closely the way that the game has developed and grown, led by Roger and Rafa and Novak and Andy's leadership off the court as well as their on-court leadership. They've been you know, very uh, wise about using their power to try and, and make everything better for all the players, not just themselves. So there's been a selflessness from these great players that has helped grow the tour, make it so much healthier and more viable around the world. I love the new generation, the next gen coming up as well. There's a lot to like there, and it's not just the Americans. There's a lot of international players of intrigue um, that are popping up that seem like they're ready to try and do something special. And, and Chung won the next gen last I mean, year in Milan and then backs it up again to the semis of the Australian Open. Well, that was such a catalyst for him. Winning, winning the, the, the Milan championships for him was a springboard that got him the confidence to do so well in Australia. I mean, he will open up the marketplace in, in South Korea, for sure. And he's gonna be a big star, he already is a big star. Then you have Sasha Zverev, who's so professional and has so much upside potential, still looking to put it all together, but he's a marketer's dream. He's going to be as good as he can be, and there's nothing that's gonna stop him from, from that mindset. You have players like Kyrgios, who brings in a different audience because he's so effusive and, and effervescent on the court, and he's also just a different character. He, he can also be a bit of a bad boy. You know, fans need players to love, they need players to get attached to, and they also need players to root against. We have a nice collection of players that, that will spark that interest. I think the tour is gonna be very healthy for a long time. Well, Jim, thank you for spending time with us. Appreciate it. Thanks, my man. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, the Masters descend on Madrid. And Croatia's young star rising to the challenge, we profile Borna Cioric. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com and chat with us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. See you next week.